some people don't take RTA seriously, which is probably the best strategy. So let's see what crazy things people are using this week. So it's gonna have to be a Swift Light Battle Angel and a Swift Vertiheel on the left hand side. I feel more is probably, well, there's no speed lead now. So Swift Vertiheel and there was gonna be a Swift Robo. I wonder if he was on Swift Nemesis. Guess the stuns. This is what I want to see is the uh, the light Grim Reaper. So Judgment skill 3 is a defense break and a stun. Skill 2 is a decreased attack age and a AoE. Both of them are AoEs. Uh, decreased attack age and stun if the enemy's under 30% HP. So we get some stuns there. I wonder if he's also on Despair or what his rune set is. I don't know. We don't ever have access to the, uh, the rune sets for these people. But just out of curiosity... This Feng Yan could still solo the entire thing. Unlikely, but he could. We They've got the stuns with the Grim Reaper, though. So, I, I kind of feel like the Light Grim Reaper is a budget dark monkey. That's one way of looking at it, I suppose. He did get the win. We get to see some Beth... Oh, they're going to use the uh, Leo Vertiheel Ragdoll team. Not a lot of sustain on that right-hand side. So we get to see the grit. That's the whole point of this. I was like, wait, well, we saw the light one. Let's see the dark one now. Do they get the strip? Do they get the revenge? Nukes bet. Oh, she's still alive. All right. Not the end of the world. Can they keep this team controlled with this Grim Reaper? There's a lot of debuffs. And there's no sustain on the opponent's side. Aside from, like, self-sustain, possibly, but... Yeah, wow. All right, Plague, another turn. Oh, I thought he was going to go for the the Molong and kill and get that extra turn there. So toxic. So toxic, GG. Meta team on the left-hand side, yep. And just all dots on the right-hand side. Just dots and dots and dots. So something's dying. We know something on the right-hand side is dying. Yep. But, are they going to be able to do enough dots here to take this team down? Fire Guardian Angel, so many stuns, so many dots. Rakuni cannot cleanse everything. Rakuni's toxic, but he cannot handle an entire team full of dots and stuns and slows and heal blocks. So, I love seeing things like this because this is just a, a, a crazy nonsense. I know it's only C1, but it's still crazy nonsense team. It's just... Uh, we have well runes, and it's just a bunch of dots, and we're just doing whatever. Versus someone that's like, I'm gonna pick according to the meta. The ragdoll on the side, I wasn't expecting the ragdoll to be on. Do they ban out the Riley? Yep, bans out the Riley. They do still have an AOE strip with this Hey Gang. So this is gonna be another one where they try to strip and CC. Well, there's no more, <laughs> no more strips, but CC the uh, the opponent, and they only had one cleanser healer. That's why you bring two cleanser healers. I wonder if they knew that they had uh, the ragdoll. Curious. This train's gonna possibly just go bonkers. Yep. There. Well, he can't go much more bonkers than that. He does still have cooldowns, but here we go again. I <laughs> really want to see this person on the left hand side win. I, I'm, I know I'm very toxic. But I really want to see this person win. Let's see. It might be rough. To resist. Not the end of the world. Okay. Get some glancings. All right. Can this Rika... Ooh, she's got to do a lot. This is going to be a rough. This is going to be a rough? This is going to be a rough, guys. Not sure what I was trying to say there. This is going to be a rough one. <laughs> they get the stun on Nana. All right. It's looking like it's going to be pretty nasty. Am I too toxic that I want this person to win? Oh my goodness. I, I'm probably too toxic that I want this person to win with just all these nuts. This is just going to be a continuous damage themed episode, isn't it? Because I, I was just curious to see what a more premium continuous damage team would look like. So the Hey Gang gets banned and the Nephthys gets banned. There are still a lot of dots on this team though. 
They could have a nasty comeback. I'm not sure why they picked up fire, uh, fire on Amusha. Dots, 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 dots. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that's a, that's a more premium dot team. It's another gimmick video, guys. It's just always going to be gimmick videos. We got more, more dot teams. Veramos gets banned. That was the best ban considering there's so many dots. Uh, well, let's see. Ooh, they got a lot. They got a lot there. Wow. They actually landed on everyone. Potentially going to be nasty. Aerostorm. Let's see if they go for... Okay, I was going to say, let's see if they go for the Dark Elf first. They do still have some sustain there from the skill one on the Nora. That monkey is almost dead. So Chow can cleanse these off, these dots. But he can't cleanse all the dots off. I just noticed what happened with the Molong. Yeah, he thought he was going to get the full value out of that. Arrow Storm. If, if they get enough dots on the Chow, Chow can't take everything off. Also, if they get some attack age decrease on the Chow, he can't, he can't take, uh... He can't take attack age decrease off. So there is that. But the Chow actually is not, not terrible here. Let's see. Let's see what happens with RNG. Watch, this is a crit damage, Yao. Is that going to be enough to take this monkey down? It is not going to be enough to take the monkey down. This is close. This is close. Okay, that was the, the least climactic uh, ending to that. This player on the right-hand side is one of my favorite players. He always picks some crazy, weird things, and it's very entertaining to watch. So, I hope he wins, but I'm biased. Gets the karma. Ooh, gets the stun on the... Ooh, gets the second stun! Kinda lucky. <laughs> not gonna lie. Opponent did violent proc too, though, so... It's not like it was a one-sided luck. Let's see the... Shahat. Shahat does uh, continuous damage stuff. Uh, we usually don't see too much of Shahat. But it's nice to be able to potentially see him here. Not enough to kill. He gets the luck. Okay, he's just getting lucky stuns. And <laughs> lucky violent procs too. Uh, I don't know if that means Shahat is good. Probably does not mean that Shahat is good. It just means that he is... <laughs> he can violent proc. <laughs> yeah, he's getting some lucky procs and some lucky stuns there. Not gonna lie. So Juno's getting banned out, you know. Yep, Juno's getting banned and Nora's getting banned. They still do have some dot combinations. They don't have a lot of sustain on that uh, right-hand side, though. <sighs> Gets the stun. He seems to like to get these lucky stuns. More lucky stuns. Alright, Arrow Storm. Yeah, so if the Riley could possibly proc out of the stun, this could, uh, <laughs> okay. It, this seems to be one-sided right now. Is Riley gonna, Riley should, that's such a cool animation. Okay, Riley proc'd that, that was deserved. This was a this was a bit one-sided until that. It's still kind of a bit one-sided. Yeah, I don't know. This monkey's gonna have to work miracles to uh, to come back with a win here. He seems to not really want to work miracles though. Luckily, this monkey was uh, okay. He's he's procking. The comeback could happen. Kinda, I kind of feel guilty now. I have nothing to do with this match. I just feel guilty for rooting for the uh, continuous damage. Mon Monkey's not really landing a whole lot. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Um. Kanto is playing favorites now. Roadhog God. That is one unit that I almost never used in Overwatch. What is that comp though? What is this comp? Okay. Bans out the Dominic. 
Let's see what happens. Jeez, this is a wacky... They land everything! Well, things usually go well when you land every, uh, everything. That's dead. After her buff, that is, uh, that is a dead unit. GG, because the crits. It just makes her much easier to... It makes her easier to room. Increase cool times. They are landing everything. All right, gets the, uh, the brand. That's not going to heal very much, is it? Nah, it's, it really isn't. This is not going to heal very much either. They just wanted to keep uh, everything alive. Riley Prox? Fair. That is that is what Riley is there for. To proc. Gets the sleep. Oh, goes for Phantom Light on the Molong. They wanted to do all that additional damage to him as much as possible. I thought they were going to just leave him. And start hitting uh, Bulwark or something. But they want to take that thing down as soon as possible. Man, some sometimes the wacky teams do well. He did land a lot of his debuffs though. Like at the very beginning of the match, if he didn't land all those debuffs, this would have been a this would have played out very differently. It is of course Summoner's War. It is all RNG all the time. Well, sixty percent of the time it's RNG. The other 40% of the time, it's... I don't know. Hmm. I'm surprised they went that way, but... You know, everything from the pick band phase forward is the surprising part here. So, yeah, I I would have played a little bit differently, but, you know, as, as long as the end result goes in their favor, then I'm sure there's a method to the madness. Almost. Grind your runes, kids. Almost. And, and I suppose your art, well, you can't grind artifacts, but if you could, there we go. GG. Anyway, that's it for this one. I guess we're doing a continuous damage themed episode because why not? Even though we started with the Light Grim Reaper. Hope you guys, <laughs> it's not really a continuous damage. Anyway, hope you guys enjoyed it. That's for this one. See you as always in the next one.